Picture this. You're born in Rhode Island and you grow up a Bruins fan. You play hockey and you're pretty good at it, so you go to Bishop Hendrick in high school and you win a state championship your freshman year. After prep school in Connecticut, you come back to your home state to attend Providence College, where you win a national championship on the home ice of your favorite team. You then get signed by that organization, and four years later, you have the opportunity to play for a Stanley Cup on not only the ice you won a national championship or the ice of your favorite team, but the ice of your team. Johnston's Nola Chari is living his dream. It's a dream come true for, for me and to be playing for the Stanley Cup and uh, everyone's excited. He's as homegrown as they come. We've watched him grow up before our eyes, from Bishop Hendrickin to Providence College <laughs> to the P Bruins. And now he can almost taste the Stanley Cup. Is there anything you can pinpoint or any moment that you can think of back when you were at either Hendrickin or PC that maybe has led you to be prepared for this moment and to be playing on the biggest stage in hockey. I think for Hendrickin, I mean, Coach Kramer's got me ready for my next step, which was Kent School, and then from Kent School, Matt Herr and Garrison Smith got me ready for Providence College, and then Coach Lehman uh, won a national championship at the Garden and uh, got me ready for my professional level, and I feel like that they've each helped me get to the next step that I needed to be to get to where I am right now. Knowles High School coach Jim Kramer always knew he had the it factor to be a pro. He always did the difficult things and it didn't matter what day of the week it was. Um, I just saw how, how he approached it and I saw that from youth hockey through high school and then certainly when he got to Providence that really developed and and then you know to where he is now. He's such a humble, hard-working, good Johnston boy um, so I think everyone's happy for him. And his current coach agrees. Well, usually he's got attributes to, to be able to play late into the season and into the spring. Competitiveness, a second effort, you know, those things that carry a little farther. You know, able to play through adversity. So he's got a lot of will, a lot of mental toughness. Uh, as you can see him physically, he's a good skater. He's got decent skills, but he's not at the top of the list there. I think he's just mentally, you know, pretty tough kid that has the ability to step up and lead and play at the right time. So whatever word that is, high character guy. There's a local feel to this Bruins team, something they believe is a direct correlation to their success. Are you a believer in the power of all these local guys on this team and their ability to, you know, maybe play for the team that they grew up rooting for? Oh yeah, I mean, it's great to be able to play with uh, Wags, uh, uh, Charlie, Char um, Grizz, all these guys, all grown up around here, close, been Boston fans myself, and, uh, and it's crazy to think that you're playing with these guys for the hometown team and playing for a Stanley Cup, and uh, you never would have guessed it, but uh, it's, it's very, very exciting. This might be a little early to, to think about this, but when you think about maybe the moment of winning a Stanley Cup on the same ice that you won a national championship, what do you think of? I mean, I, I don't want to get too far ahead, but uh, it's exciting. I mean, it took four games to get to the national championship game, and uh, it's going to take four more to win a Stanley Cup here. I also asked Noel specifically about the Blues. He said they're playing really well, and they have a goaltender who's hot right now. He added, but so do we.